Hello, welcome. This is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. I'm Matlab Pink. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about that the DAX trade volume is down 37% since May. And uh, the second thing I would like to talk about is uh, Citigroup will let rich clients use private blockchain to transfer assets. And then we have a new top 10 cryptocurrency, uh, which, pu which pushed out actually Solana to uh, place 11. So guys, all this in today's video. And don't forget, every single day, I'm making you fresh cryptocurrency and blockchain content. So if you do not want to miss a single thing, you would like to stay up to date, very simple. Just subscribe to this YouTube channel, Blockchain Bloom. And if you like this kind of content when I'm creating, then definitely hit the like button. So let's start it. And uh, before we move on, uh, tomorrow and after tomorrow, so on Wednesday and Thursday, I will be at the conference. So I'm not going to make these usual longer videos, but I try to make you short videos if something happened to keep you up to date. So you still should subscribe to get the freshest, but the next longer video will be again on Friday, like, you know, like this video here. Okay, and now when I share the screen, we can see that Bitcoin is up 1%, uh, 26,970 US dollar, while Ethereum half percent up, uh, 1,638 US dollar. When we're looking at the top gainers, eCash 14% up, GMX 7 and Stacks 6. And among the losers, Nexo 3% down, R Waves about 3% and XDC about 2%. And uh, when we looking at here the candlestick chart, we can see uh, Bitcoin yesterday uh, was pushed back. You know, this green daily candle just went above uh, 27,200 ish, uh, which is a kind of resistance level. And it was pushed back, but now a new green candle is trying. So let's see how this one uh, gonna work out. Okay, and now when we move on to the first topic, the first topic is all about that DAX trade volume is down 37% since May. So we can see that not much is happening right now on the crypto market. You know, the trading volume in general is down and this is uh, true for DAXs as well. And here are some, uh, you know, data because uh, since May, this year, and the DAX trade volume went down 37%. So after capturing a 66.5 billion US dollar in May, DAX trade volumes have fallen for four consecutive months with August statistics reaching 20, uh, 2023 low of uh, 41.7 billion US dollar. And actually the metrics for the first half of September do not show improvement with decentralized exchange trade volumes about 16.96 billion as of September 18th. Today is the 19th, so this came out just yesterday. So here you can see, um, you know, all the DAXs you have here, Uniswap, PancakeSwap, Curve, uh, and so on and so forth. And uh, yeah, you can see here the activity. And this one was here, the big one here is uh, May uh, 2021. Another peak uh, back in November 2021, uh, you know, all around this uh, Bitcoin all time highs, of course, uh, that period. And we can see that we haven't been on this level really since uh, December 2020, what we're witnessing uh, right now uh, in, in, in this month. And uh, yeah, well, this is a closed month and this is not a closed one. So yeah, maybe this is not fair to say it, but then just looking at the next month after that. So anyway, bottom line is that uh, the numbers are down. Uh, the volatility is uh, very uh, low. Just when we're looking at centralized exchanges, also uh, DAXs, decentralized exchanges. Right now, the market is going sideways, waiting for some bigger move. And until that, this is the boring part, but you cannot really, I mean, you can trade, but it's just like not the kind of thing what the traders are dreaming of because you cannot make really huge profit in, in neither direction, to be honest with you. And uh, yeah, but this is the probably the calm before the, the storm. And, uh, you know, in 2024, 25, we do hope for, for, for a market, a bull market coming. <clears throat> 
bring the prices back to new all-time highs. Uh, but right now, this is a typical period when actually we had that in the past as well. Sorry. <coughs> Something went to my throat. Okay, so we had it in the past as well, and um, <clears throat> we have seen Bitcoin and the market going sideways. This is what right now we're witnessing. So this is the reason why the volume is uh, pretty much down. Okay, the second news is all about uh, Citigroup's new service because they will let rich clients to use private blockchain to transfer assets. So there is a new service coming for Citigroup and they will actually, uh, you know, let rich clients to use private blockchain to uh, transfer assets. So what they do, big money clients uh, to transform the deposit into digital tokens. Uh, that's the idea. So they're going to use blockchain and smart contract technology uh, to allow uh, their institutional clients to send money across borders quickly. And uh, this is a private blockchain, so not a public one, just like Bitcoin or Ethereum, for example. But this service will be provided automated uh, trade finance solution on 24-7 basis. And uh, yeah, first, available for institutional uh, clients, the, the rich guys. And, uh, you know, uh, probably, you know, this is how it always goes. This is for the premium. And then probably uh, the other clients going to get it as well. But the reason I brought this news, because this could be a new trend, banks using blockchain uh, technology and, uh, you know, with blockchain technology, help their clients transfer their asset uh, in, in a digital uh, tokenized way. Um, yeah, okay. And the third thing I would like to mention, we have a new top 10 coin. Which one it is and what this is all about? Let's talk about that. So the top 10 is not really uh, changing quite often, to be honest with you, by market cap. Uh, and we have now a new entry. And the new entry this time is Toncoin. So when we're looking at here Coin Gecko, we can see that Toncoin is at top 10, just pushing Solana out of the top 10 to place 11. Uh, Toncoin's market cap is 8.3 billion US dollar. Why 8.1 goes for Solana? And uh, a couple of words about Toncoin. You know, um, it's uh, you know from the creators of the popular messaging platform Telegram. Toncoin was initially created to be the native cryptocurrency of the Telegram Open Network. Uh, this multi-blockchain platform aimed to offer low-cost crypto transactions while remaining high scale, uh, highly scalable. Uh, however, Telegram faced significant regulatory hurdles from SEC and distanced itself from the project. Yet, a passionate community of supporters opted to take up uh, the reins. And uh, since then, uh, this community has driven Toncoin development and adoption, transforming it into a major player in the crypto market and rebranding it to open the open network. So this is what uh, Ton now stands for. And uh, moreover, uh, on either uh, scan, you can see there are 7,200 unique wallet uh, addresses now hold Ton. Um, yeah, so pretty much, as we can see, uh, Ton went up significantly, you know, definitely the most here in the top, whatever, 43% uh, in a week, and that makes it right now a top 10 coin. So a new one uh, joined the game. We will see how long it will stay there and how it will perform uh, in the future. Guys, that's it for today. Don't forget, every single day, I'm making you fresh cryptocurrency and blockchain content. I won't make these longer videos tomorrow and after tomorrow because I'm at the conference, but I'm going to make you some short videos to keep you up to date. And I'm back with a longer video on Friday. Um, if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, don't miss that. And if you would like to stay up to date, simply subscribe to Blockchain Bloom because every day I bring you the freshest content. Okay, see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.